Today I'm gonna share my recipe for healthy pancakes. So one of the main ingredients in pancakes is of course wheat flour and we're gonna use a brand called Jovial and this is einkorn wheat and it's 100% whole wheat. But the unique thing about einkorn, einkorn roughly translated means one kernel. And for every stalk there's only one kernel and it's it hasn't been hybridized. So it's the original wheat from 12,000 years ago. And why is this important to you? If anybody has any kind of gluten intolerances, einkorn often uh, works great. So that's the number one ingredient. And whole wheat also because with whole wheat, what happens happens you get the whole kernel right and when you have use white flour what happens most of the nutrients are, are taken away when you when you take away uh, everything that's not the white flour right uh, so the next thing about this I think is important is in this particular case this is gonna be a plant-based recipe so what we're using instead of eggs is we're going to use a combination of flax seeds and chia seeds and the reason why uh, first off these are super high in antioxidants omega-3 fatty acid uh, high in zinc, uh, high in magnesium, high in iron. So all these micronutrients that really help the body tick really well. And instead of milk, we're gonna use oat milk. Oat milk is, is uh, my favorite milk alternative. Uh, it works great, it has a, a wonderful flavor, and uh, it's something you can use anytime you'd normally use milk. And, and of course the other ingredients, we're gonna use some baking powder. And so that we don't have to add a lot of sugar, because we want these to be healthy camp uh, pancakes, we're gonna use some almond extract that gives them a really nice flavor. So let's get started. So here we go. Now ingredients roughly, I never really measure that much. I'm going to measure a little bit now. Is I'm going to take uh, about a cup, a little over a cup of, uh, of starting out with flour. I'm going to take about a cup of uh, milk as well. I guess I better get the lid off here. And uh, with this, um, I kind of measure, actually it's going to be a little more than a cup. It's probably going to be a cup and a quarter. There we go, perfect. I'm gonna whisk this together. Now, I personally find I have better success if I whisk one thing up at a time. Now, um, I like to freshly grind my chia seeds and my flax seeds. This, this makes them a little fresher. When you grind them ahead of time, uh, they might go rancid a little faster. So what I've got here is I've got a, a, a coffee grinder that I use, and I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of flax seeds and about a tablespoon of chia seeds. And I'm gonna get ready, it's gonna get noisy here. I'm gonna grind them up for about five seconds. And then I'm gonna take this. Oh man, the smell of a, ooh, it sounds, it smells so good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get a glass and I'm gonna add water to this. So I'm just gonna fill this whole cup with water. And what's gonna happen here is I'm just gonna let this rest for a little while and let that kind of thicken up a little bit and, and it works great for utilizing uh, instead of eggs. And so back to the other ingredients in this, I'm checking if my uh, content is about, this looks about right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some baking powder, about a tablespoon of baking powder. You can tell I measured, my hands are clean, I promise. And a cap full of almond extract. Oh, this is adds such nice flavor and, and sometimes if you ever are somebody that likes to use vanilla in recipes every now and then just to mix it up a little bit, oh man, almond extract is just so fun to work with. Oops, that's probably a little bit more than I need. They're going to be extra almondy today. And a little olive oil. And that just makes them not stick as well in the, as good in the pan. It gives them a little coarse fat, always gives you flavor. And I'm going to mix that up and then I'm going to, from there now, I've given my, my flax seed a second to kind of mix up and what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to dump that whole thing in. Oh yeah. And stir that up a little bit and then based on the thickness it's going to determine if I'm going to need, in this case it looks like I'm going to need a little bit more flour. And uh, with this, obviously stirring briskly, when you've got flax and chia seeds, if you don't mix it real thoroughly, it gets kind of a little bit lumpy. But I'll tell you what, this gives us a, like, like kind of a... a a woody flavor to it that's just really unique that most people uh, without when they think what you're putting what flax seeds and chia seeds in my pancakes but when they actually taste it oh man they usually go crazy for it I'm gonna add a little more flour because my thickness isn't quite right once again measuring stuff perfectly and there we go we're ready to make them all right, now that we've got our batter done, let's get these pancakes ready to go. Of course, I'm gonna use a good old fashioned griddle. I personally like to cook uh, pretty high. So uh, I've got mine on like medium high. And what I'm gonna do while that's warming up, the toppings for these uh, pancakes, is I'm gonna do banana nut pancakes. So first thing I'm gonna do is of course, uh, banana, and once again, high micronutrients and calcium, uh, potassium, 
these are something that like if you ever get cramps from training uh, 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 there we go bananas easy for me to say work really well i'm going to chop them up real small because i'm going to add them to our pancakes in just a second or while i'm letting the griddle warm up and the, my particular griddle is a new one and it's, it warms up really quick so i don't have to wait too long and then from there, I'm gonna take walnuts. I'll use walnuts or pecans. I use them kind of interchangeably. Of course, uh, really good in, in, in uh, high in protein. Also, some good healthy fat. Uh, but also, they're really good for gut health as well. So walnuts are just, man, they're such a versatile uh, nut that, that is very tasty. And especially, I find when I grill them, it works really good. So I've got them in pretty small pieces. And so, Oh, we're just about ready here. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and start dishing the batter out. So in this particular case, I'll usually do, just for whatever it's worth, I do smaller pancakes and more of them. So I'm gonna see if I can get eight pancakes on here. And uh, it doesn't look like I added, I could have probably added a little bit more uh, baking powder to the mix. These aren't gonna rise as much as others. That's probably why I ought to measure more than I do. These are going to be so good. And uh, one more, see if I got that, the perfect amount. All right, let's give those a couple minutes to see what happens. Oh, let me show you. While, while we're still cooking, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the walnuts and I'm going to sprinkle them over the pancakes. I'll try to spread them out as evenly as I possibly can. This is where uh, you have to be patient. And what you, I find that if I get them nice and spread, I, I, I visualize uh, and the, the size of a bite of a pancake and I want one chunk of, of, of walnut in every part of it and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the, with the uh, bananas. This is why I like them small so they'll stick a little bit and once again the whole idea is to have you know how I guess with the chocolate chip cookies you know a, a morsel of chocolate chip in every bite well my attitude when it comes to pancakes is the same thing I want uh, that, that absolutely amazing blend of banana and walnuts on every bite of my pancake. And so then this will take, these are done really quick. So from start to finish, literally about four minutes and your pancakes are good and ready to go. So we'll give these a second and then we'll turn them over. All right, I think we're ready to turn these over. Now I made these, these turn out to be pretty big. So see if I can turn them over. Oh, not bad without messing them up too much. I'll tell you what, when you have a really good non-stick uh, griddle, it works so much easier. This is a new one. This one I could have made a little, waited a little longer on. That's okay. Once you turn it over, we'll just wait longer on the other side for it. Oh man, these are going to be so tasty. Yes, I know I'm going out of order. A couple more. Let's see. Oh, This is probably my worst uh, job of turning over pancakes ever but they'll taste okay there, I promise. And then what I'll do with this is that this is where pancakes can get really unhealthy. To add, you know, how much butter and syrup you're gonna put on it. And I, I use a plant-based butter alternative, uh, just it's my preference, but just to give it a little flavor, I'll put in like a, literally a, like a quarter teaspoon and just let it melt onto this. Oh, these are gonna be so tasty. And then as far as, uh, once again, we used almond extract. It gives us a nice flavor. You add that to the banana and they're very sweet. They don't really need a lot of, of, of syrup. So for me, the type of syrup that I use would be, uh, in this case, just maple syrup. Is there high in sugar? Yes, but guess how many ingredients are in this? One, maple syrup, right? That's literally what it is. And, and anytime you can eat low on the food chain, I, it just instinctually it makes sense to do so. It's gonna be a little healthier for you. So all we're gonna let these do is let these cook for about a minute and they are gonna be ready to eat. All right, let's go ahead and plate these up. So just to give you the effect, you turn it over, you'll see, oh, look at that. Mm, the, the, uh, you see the bananas and the uh, walnuts coming through. Oh man, these are so tasty. And uh, once again, the main ingredient, einkorn, a really good alternative to, uh, uh, to your regular wheat for a lot of different reasons. Here we go. Healthy banana nut pancakes.